Okay, we are live. Can you guys say yes in the chat if we are live? Hello, hello. What's up, Adriana? Tiffany Vang, hello from the US as well. Anna, Charlie Gruz, hi everyone, how's it going? I think we are live. We'll wait a little bit to make sure. Cool. Okay, Let me we're live. You. Cool. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa, and um, Janelle just left the shot, but um, I am so excited to introduce Janelle Eats. Um, she's an amazing food content creator. I've been able to become acquainted with her the last the last few months, maybe four yeah. months or five months through Clubhouse, yeah. and we have been texting each other back and forth about ideas about food content creation, about food, about life, and so I am very honored that she is joining me in this live to make. Filipino style picadillo. So Janelle, I will hand it over to you to do a little introduction. Awesome, you're so kind, Lisa, thank you. Um, Lisa's been so helpful in helping me just like with growing my channel and like having more creative ideas. Um, but introduction to myself, I guess my name is Janelle Castro and I specialize in sharing Filipino food. And today that's what we're gonna make. I actually wanted to um, make this dish because I noticed that I think a lot of maybe Lisa's viewers want maybe simpler recipes. And this one's like a one pot thing. Like I used to make this when I was in college cause it was so easy. And yeah, it's so like you just want something quick. Like I love using ground beef because I could just like throw it in the pan, throw a few things in and it's really, really good. So yeah, that's what Filipino picadillo is. It's like a beef and pork based tomato stew. And you can whip it up in like what, 30 minutes. It just how, however long potatoes take. How did you know that I like simple? Uh, I don't. Maybe it has to do with the ramen. <laughs> you just know that I like simple recipes. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. I see how it is. Okay, let's get into it. What's up? What what should we cool. first? All right. So the first thing with like Filipino cooking, we usually start with the aromatics, and that's usually garlic and onions. So I'm gonna show you. I don't know how you prepare garlic, but we always smash it. Okay. I do you down to learn new ways. Okay. So I just take garlic. Okay. Because I know some people peel it and I'm like, why? It takes forever. Um, you're supposed to take like two, but I just take like three to four. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you just stick with two, whatever. Okay. So let me do, I'll just do maybe these two. Just two big ones? Yeah. I'm going to do three because I love garlic. Okay, same. Okay, this turned out to be like three. ginormous. Two, three. These are kind of old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any new ones that you can go get? What? Do you have any new ones that you can go get? No, well, these are. People can't tell. Just pretend it's new. Oh no! The, here it is. This looks. Yeah, you can't tell. You can't yeah, tell. we can't tell. It's fine. Brand new. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So do, Teach me the smashing method. So you take your knife. Okay. Okay. So you, you want a wider knife like this, where you can take this side of your fist and just go bam. Okay. So make sure this is flat too. So when you smash it, it doesn't like go flying everywhere. Okay. So here's the garlic. Place the knife right on top. And then make sure the blade is kind of pointed downwards towards the chopping board so that it does, it's not like up and you're like bam. So make sure it's kind of downward towards the chopping board. Okay. And then big, like just forceful smash down. I'm scared. Always times. I'm always scared my knife is gonna slip. There you oh, go. That's why you point it downward. Okay. Yeah, so if you point it downwards this way, the sharp the sharp side just goes down on the cutting board. So it's like <laughs> so loud, of course. Oh no, it's good. But yeah, it's not too bad. Cool. Then you just peel it. This is how I take off all the skins. So if the skin is still on, I just I keep smashing it, but they're coming off. So I don't know. Do you peel garlic? <laughs> yeah, I'm too scared to do the smash. I like I've tried the smashing sometimes, but like I'm just I'm a scaredy cat. Oh well, just yeah. Point the sharp side down like this, and then. I do it all the time because it's just faster. <laughs> it's so loud. 
Okay, that's enough smashing. <laughs> cool. There we go. And so why I like to do this, and I mean my family's been doing it, um, is that it smashes it, it releases like the aroma of the garlic. Uh huh. So sometimes I don't even like mince this. Sometimes I just throw it in there. But in this one, we'll mince it. So okay. you don't get big pieces of garlic. So do you know how to mince garlic? I just kind of... <laughs> I actually do want to see your technique. Okay, so you're slicing it up. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like a da -da 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 kind of person. I just kind of like... <laughs> just try to get into smaller pieces. Okay. And like, I don't get too fancy about it. Like, I don't even have to make it super small because with a stew like this, the garlic kind of breaks down and becomes really soft. Like, it's not like you're going to bite into it and be like, ah. <laughs> so just like roughly um, chop it. What are we making? JC is asking, what are we making? Filipino picadillo. Phil it's like a ground beef. Pino tomato picadillo. Yes. So did you eat this a lot growing up? Yeah, like it would be like that quick meal to make. And like, okay, to be honest, like if you make Filipino food, the stuff that I always have in my pantry is garlic, onions, tomato sauce, like cans of tomato sauce, coconut milk, fish sauce. Like with those three, you can throw in like your meats, veggies, and you can make so many dishes. I actually remember you talking about this a while back. I think it was like one of our like late night clubhouse rooms. We were just like talking, it's probably me, you and Julius, but you yeah. were talking about how if you have like these three ingredients, you can make anything. Yes. So this, if you wanted to sub out like chicken, you have kind of a slightly different recipe or I don't know, like tomato based foods are my jam. Like you can throw some vegetables in. Like if I have a hard time making a dish, I throw in tomato sauce and it just tastes so much better. <laughs> hey, whatever works that's also when you experiment with things and figure out what you like like and don't like as well yeah and i think if you just throw in fish sauce like with coconut milk as your stew base or soup base and then tomato sauce you're like set like it makes everything taste good yeah i need to experiment more with cooking coconut um coconut really Coconut juice? Is that what? It's not oh, coconut, coconut juice. Coconut cream no. and coconut milk. Yeah, yeah, okay. Co sorry. Dude, Lost my mind good. there for a second. Coconut cream and coconut milk. Yeah, I need to experiment more with cooking those. Okay, okay so... I think, I, I think I'm good with the garlic. Well, yeah. Nope, just kidding. There's a big piece here. Yeah. Yours is so finely chopped. It's so <laughs> Is it I not like supposed to be? I'm sorry. I was so intent on the conversation. Okay. No, that's cool. It's great. Okay. Garlic. If garlic. you're lazy, you don't have to do that. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm lazy, so I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right, what's next? Okay, so now we're gonna chop up the onion. Okay. So get your onion. I don't know how you chop up your onion. I just pray each time, basically. All right, cool. So I'll show okay. you how to cut an onion. You played with my brother, Anctivius. I taught him recently how to cut an onion. <laughs> I played with both your brothers. The older one, the one that isn't Aaron, Lance. Yeah. I played okay. with Aaron and, sorry, what was his name? Lance. Okay. Yeah, they Just disappear and all of a sudden Lisa thing. comes along. I was like, oh, my brothers are alive. Yeah, I texted, yeah. so I texted Janelle, what, Janelle, day, was what day was this? This was last, um, last Wednesday. And I texted Janelle and said, hey, I'm playing Valorant with both of your brothers. How do you feel about this? <laughs> and, <laughs> and she was like, they won't even play with me. And now they're playing with you. <laughs> I yeah, I was it. like, what gives, guys? Come on. <laughs> I freaking love that. Uh, okay. All right. So with an onion, this is how I typically do it. I take both sides and just like chop them off. So I just- Okay, let's chop both ends off. Side. Is that yeah. what you said? Okay. Yep. So I just chop it off. You guys see this? And then there's okay. kind of like a little tail that like hangs on, right? Yeah. You see it. And I just kind of pull like- Ooh. Oh, I see. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's fine. You can do it on the other side. This knife is, I'm not used to knife this sharp. Yeah, it's way too sharp. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah. Dull knives are like 
more dangerous, which is what I heard at um, home ec class. Oh yeah, because they slide, right? Yeah, they slide and then you'll cut yourself. Um, so yeah, yeah, I just peel off the first layer. And then if it's if it's like the first layer still kind of got some skin on it, I peel off the second layer until I get to a clean layer. But Tamia is asking, what is your name? Janelle. <laughs> Castro. <laughs> This is uh, Janelle, people. guys. Uh, can yeah. you guys help me out and make sure to follow her, subscribe to her YouTube channel? She makes way better content than me. Uh, food content. She's on TikTok, Instagram. Freaking amazing. It's not way better content, okay? It okay. is. Okay. Peel right. this bad boy. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Yours, I didn't soak from so much prettier than mine earlier. I was like, I can't tell. Did you already peel it? Okay. So I know that this recipe said one onion, but I'm also looking at just like the ingredients that I have. And this is a big onion that I have, right? Like, mm -hmm. I think even yours, if you chop it up, maybe you can use the whole thing if you want, but I'll just use like half. Okay. That should be good enough. So this is how I cut my onions. I cut it in half first. And then I'll choose um, this half. <laughs> and then I put it this you side down. Choose the better looking side or what? Yeah, I kind of like look at it and I'm like, usually one's slightly bigger than the other and I just choose the one that I feel like going with. Which side guys? Right side or left side? Let me know. Right side, left side. <laughs> Wait, yours is so even. <laughs> <laughs> Do you typically pick the side that's bigger? Right or left? Right or left? It depends on the size of the dish. How do you pr pronounce pancit? 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 Pancit. 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 Okay. Right, left, right, left, right, left. left. Perfect. Okay. People are saying right, left. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If you holler, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This one? Okay. Yeah, cool. cool. All right, what's next? <laughs> okay, so I know you were with the yakitori guy and all these chefs, I'm like so intimidated, but I just cut mm -hmm. an onion like I'm a common person. A common person, okay. <laughs> teach teach me the ways of a common person. Okay, so I just take this onion and I go like, th -th 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 -th. and then I turn <laughs> it and I go. Th -th 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 -th. Okay. Okay, your knife is sharp, so it'll be really easy and um, it's not like anything's gonna slide. And also my philosophy is, I mean, it doesn't have to be evenly cut. Like I said, we're not chefs. Um, I think the goal here is I chop everything into smaller pieces so that everything can cook a lot quicker. Okay. That's how um, I like to look at it. And you're keeping it all together, yes? Yes, like this. So these are all cut this way now. And then I just go thick. Wouldn't that suck if we like cut our fingers off or something on live stream? On live? Yeah. That would go viral. <laughs> How viral do you want to go? <laughs> I said that would suck and you're like, that would go viral. That's cool. That's cool. I did, well, I don't know if this is too graphic. Never mind. Too graphic of a story. It's okay. It might okay. not be. Huh? It might not be. Really? I just saw a guy with his hand cut off. Okay, let's see if we have any questions for you. You should make pancit okay. next. Okay. What? Someone said you should make pancit next. Pancit. Oh, pancit. yes. Pancit is so good. I make good pancit because my dad says it's good. And if my dad says it's good, then it's good. <laughs> oh, you've already cut it the other way. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. I'm just always behind, basically. So usually they... They keep their fingers like this, the claw. So they don't oh, try yeah. So you don't cut off your fingers? Yes. But I have a really hard time with the claw. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Just do that. Perfect. Cool. It doesn't have to be like that perfect. My roommate is calling me. Should I pick up or not? Yes. Just, just kidding. Do you guys oh. want to hear a conversation with me and my roommate? Well, she just called twice. Do you mind? No, no. Go. Okay. <laughs> 
Holly, you're live on stream right now. What's up? Oh, I was just going to tell you that I just got pulled over. Oh, no. I did not get a ticket, thank goodness. I accidentally ran a red light because like, I seen right before and I didn't want to see him on my brakes. Did you hear me say that you're... And then I was so flustered, I forgot to get gas. Oh my god. Okay. And um, now I'm almost... <laughs> Um, okay, sorry. You're live on stream. We said you're live on stream. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to say bye to everyone, thanks for I hope you get out. Okay. Thanks for joining. Thanks for well. Thanks for joining our stream. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you go, and you know, I'll give you an update later if anything more dramatic happens in my life today. Okay, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> I can't freak. Okay, out of all the things that she's gonna say, that was literally the last thing I think she would have said. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was like, I of all the things that are gonna happen. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. What's next? <laughs> um. Hold on. <laughs> I just, she's just, it's just, from watching the videos about your roommates, I was like, oh, it's such a, of course, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad you didn't get a ticket, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, potatoes, yes, okay. Yes, now potatoes. Can... Okay, I need to rinse mine real quick. Okay, go And for we're it. not peeling them, right? No. And just wash it really nicely, because the skin will get soft. And it's like, you won't really notice. I mean, if you're really picky about it, but it also adds a nice texture to the picadillo. Oh, and I do want to mention this particular potato is the type of potato you want to use, either this one or the red one. Okay. Not the, um, uh, I lost it. What's that kind of potato, the Idaho, russet. You don't want the brown russet potatoes. Those will disintegrate in a stew. Okay. I think These I have, your shape. I have gold potatoes. Yes, either the gold or the red ones, not the ones that look like dirt. Those ones will like crumble. That's for like clam chowder and stuff. Like gotcha. this holds up in a stew. Okay. Took me a while to learn that. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So this one, you're just gonna cut it into cubes so the thing that my parents taught me is like you kind of want everything to be the same size so they can cook at about the same time okay so i wanted to bring up the peas and carrots <laughs> the frozen bag of peas and carrots that we got so these are probably you probably want to cut the potatoes at around this size yeah i got my bowl of them as well yeah perfect so you kind of just roughly want to be at around that size. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just don't want like something like an extremely long slice of potato, just like cubes of potatoes. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Um, yep. So you can cut this in many different ways. I'll show you one way for each potato. Or okay. Different ways for each potato. Tell me the ways. Okay. So what you can do is just make sure that you get like a flat. So it's not sliding around. Just make sure the potato is kind of flat on the cutting board. And then I just cut it in half. Ooh, lengthwise, okay. Yes, and then- Did you cut I just, off the ends or no? The ends? Like the, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. It, like, looks kind of, it looks kind of jankety at the ends. Oh, not typically. I don't typically okay. cut the edges of a potato. I didn't okay. think there were edges on a potato. Okay, go, go okay. for it. Okay, lengthwise. Um, okay. And then what you could do is like, oh my God, there's so many ways you could do this. So you could cut it like this. So I'm gonna cut it like, again, you're trying to aim for like the cubes of peas and carrots that you just got. Okay. So it's kind of like, I don't know, like, you just try to cut them in the cubes. So now I've got them cut like this way. And so you could like 
just chop it this way and then just like have it that size. Like I said, if you're lazy, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. I know they're a little bit bigger than the carrots and potatoes, but it's not like that much bigger, so it's okay. Do you see, do you see more? Yes. There it goes. Oh, I thought you have. Oops. Oh, it's so buttery smooth. It is. I love this. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oh, I know. So whenever I'm cutting up like things I've never cut up before for a video, I always have to YouTube it. I'm like, I'm really? gonna get roasted in the comments if I don't cut this the right way. Oh, that's pretentious people. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just I feel mean, like you kind of have a point if I'm, I don't know, if I'm not cutting it the right way. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit more like, if you can just get it done, because all, I feel like all these practices, it's like, if you work in a restaurant and you're like a pro chef and you have to do it a certain way because it's like a, profession like everyone's working together to cook so it has to be like this one uniform thing but if you're a home cook like my grandma and my parents cook really really well like they didn't need to chop it perfectly yeah that's understandable yeah. so anyway i put all like my garlic and onions in a separate <laughs> plate because i was running out of space What is your favorite Filipino dish of all time? Yours? Or Yours. Mine? Sinigang. It's what a was tamarind that? soup. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, sinigang. Sinigang? It's, yeah, okay. Sinister gang. Sinister gang? What? What is this dish? <laughs> it's not sinister at all. It's usually like, it's like a sour soup base. Commonly, um, mm. we commonly use like tamarind. Uh, you can also use like green mango or like a sour guava and then you cook like, you can cook pork or like seafood. Like I love fish and shrimp sinigang and you throw in like all these Asian mm. veggies. Oh my god, it's so good. This sounds amazing. I like it love sour soups and like savory. Uh, yes. Will you make this for me when I see you? Yes. Score. It's so simple to make. Well, there's like the packets that people like buy that you can just like make, but I like to make it a bit healthier and just like get actual tamarind paste, which you can get from like Whole Foods or something. Perfect. Cool. So did you, were you able to cut? Um, I am getting ready to cut my second one. I'm just taking the, the onion and the... Oh, perfect. Actually, I don't think I'm supposed to be scraping this across the cutting board. I think that duel's a knife. Um, yeah, so guys, I'm going to be meeting Janelle like twice, like next, what what month is it? August and then September. Oh, right now we're in June still. Okay, so I'm seeing, oh, her at the end of, I'm seeing her at the beginning of August and then again. Um, in October, right? Oh. September? Okay, alrighty. How did you cut your second one? Okay, so that's one way to do it. Or what you can do here is you can just go tuk, 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 and then you're doing the same thing, but you're cutting each individual slice. Okay. And then you can have like smaller cubes or you can like control the shape more, but it's like, it takes longer. So do you see this potato? Okay, so just kind of cut it like this. It really depends on my mood. Like sometimes I'll cut it this way. Sometimes I'll just cut it the other way if I'm lazy. But this way helps you just kind of control the size of the potatoes you really want. Like this way we can really cut them into smaller cubes. You see? Yeah. Okay. So the other way I would say is the lazy way and the quicker way. I mean, is it really lazy though if you get too the end result? No, it's the smart way. I just saw Khan the smart way, the efficient way. Okay, yeah, there you go. And then you just like kind of cut it. I cut it like into thirds. Then, so you can see how it's like a little bit smaller and a little bit more like the peas and carrots.
Okay. Have you ever made um, French fries or like fried potatoes? I have a long time ago, but since then I've learned that you have to soak them and you have to use not these potatoes, but the russet potatoes. And then that's how you get them crispy. Have you? I have not, but I want to do it. Ooh. But I just, Carefully. I don't like frying foods that much just because we don't have a vent in our house and it's like, yeah. What about outside? Do you have a backyard? I could do that, yeah. But then it's like outside. <laughs> yeah. And absolutely. then I got to record it and I'm like, I don't want my phone overheating. That's true. You could do air fryer or you could do it like in the oven. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting a portable, um, the, one of those countertop fryers. Yes. Those are awesome. My parents yeah, it seems like everyone has one and I'm jealous. So I've been thinking about getting one of those. But then you have to think about storage space and I'm running out of storage space. That's true. Because like I'm buying new things. Like today I I bought this Dutch oven for this video. But I want to cook other stuff in it. Dude. So like Yeah. That's a good one to have though. A Dutch oven is so versatile. Like making bread. Like I always not always, but I like to make bread in the Dutch oven. So you get the crispy outside and like a soft inside. See, the last thing I would think being cooked in a Dutch oven is bread. So when you texted that to me, to me today, I was like, interesting. I, yeah, I, realized, I realized it was random after I texted you. I was like, oh, that's <laughs> okay. That's what I use it the most for. But now I know you can cook bread in a Dutch oven. You could. And that's how you get that nice crackly crust. Okay. I think the pot this like turned, oh, these, the first potato the first I cut. Potato I cut. Kind of <laughs> yep. So that's like the the quicker way, but you will have like kind of the longer potatoes. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna cut mine now because you're cutting yours. I'm fine. This is like a game trying to get all the potatoes. And then you keep cutting it smaller and smaller and smaller, and then before you know it, you've minced your potatoes. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Do you think Filipino food is the best cuisine? Uh, <laughs> I don't. Okay, like I'll ask cuisine. a more. I'll ask an easier question. Do you, is it your favorite cuisine? Is it? I would say in like a cheat way, yes, because it's a mixture of Chinese. Spanish, uh, Chinese, Spanish, American influences. And then I'm like, okay, well then Chinese food is also like this broad spectrum of things. And then Spanish food is also this broad spectrum of things and American food. And so like, I get all that if I say Filipino food is the best. So yeah, I guess that's true. That's, true. that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know how many countries, 52 countries in one, I don't know. <laughs> That's not accurate. I just was making an example. Cool. You done with the potatoes? I think I am. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So now at this point, we're just going to be throwing everything in the pot. Okay. okay. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to yes. use my stuff. I feel like this really is a simple dish. It's just the prep that takes a little while. And then we're prep. talking, so it takes a little bit longer. Yeah. It's the prep and the talking. Like, if you weren't live, this would take like, 20 minutes, maybe. Look at this beautiful Dutch oven that I just bought. It's so nice. <laughs> so it was originally $99, but I got on sale for $69. Oh, well, heck yeah. It's so useful. You can make uh, stews, uh, beef bourguignon, whatever with the French Julia Tile dish. Is this in focus? Yes. Okay. okay. Cool. cool. You see mine? Whoops. The settings are showing. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see this? Okay, great. So now just turn on your burner to low. Okay. So you don't burn anything. On low? Yeah. As low as you can. Got it? 
hold up. Nice. Okay, so I just like to have it lower so that you don't burn like your garlic and your onions in the beginning. Okay. Cool, and then we're just gonna add in a tablespoon of oil. I just guesstimate it. I don't literally like measure out a tablespoon. We're just gonna, like after this, we're just gonna be throwing stuff in. So add your oil, just about a tablespoon. Hopefully that's a tablespoon. Yeah, I just, yeah, just guesstimate it. Cool. And then you wait for it to like heat up a little bit because everybody likes to hear the sizzle. I guess that's it smell <laughs> really good too, the garlic. Yeah. So yeah. We're just gonna throw in like the garlic and like we're gonna saute it for like, I don't know, like 20 seconds and then throw in the onions and then saute it until it's translucent. And then we're gonna throw in the, no, we're gonna throw in the ground beef. Yes. Okay, perfect. We're gonna let it all simmer um, together. Do you know what kariyage is? Karaage? Kariyage, maybe? Two A's, like K Yeah, so Sandy, thank you so much for the donation. She said to make that next time. You said kariage? Yeah, karaage. Kariage. What is that? Uh, wait. Oh, I see. Okay. Kari um, is it Filipino or Japanese? Because they're oh. very different. Because I see the way it's... Because um, there's karaage, but then unless she's saying like something else like a Filipino dish like I know kare kare <laughs> but yeah if it's if it's a Japanese karaage then it's like um deep fried there's like more to it but it's like a deep fried chicken I believe it's chicken okay it's really good I mean it's not just deep fried like chicken it's like juicy and there's like all these seasonings in it seasonings in it so good we'll have to cook it next time yeah this is okay. a nice setup you have outside thanks it's funny because you were saying oh maybe you know stream on twitch and i was like i would do it outside but i'm too lazy to set up <laughs> and i had to set up today <sighs> it's meant to be okay this is gonna be hot Okay. Actually, you know what? I would say throw in the garlic and the um what is this thing? The onions no, all no the time. hot. Yeah. Yours isn't hot? Okay, mine is hot. So I'm just gonna wait for yours to get hot. Because okay. my burner is pretty but hot. Do you want me to keep it on low still? Um maybe yours you can do oh you have the um try medium. Okay. I realize my low is like really high. Yeah, this my burner. and this stove is like a gazillion years old, so I don't know. Yeah, I would probably go to medium then. Hi, Aaron. What's up? Hello, hello. Mr. Reality, you're asking me to speak Vietnamese. <laughs> hey, Ramil, what's up? Midnight underscore CX. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Is he allowed on this stream? I don't know. Should we ban him? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. If he's being no, I had a really good time playing um, Valorant with Aaron and I always sorry I forget your older brother's name. Land, land. Okay, I had a good time playing with them. Yay! They're so sweet. They're both so sweet. Actually, Lance lives like 15 minutes away from me, but we don't see each other very often because we're both lazy. They said that they both reap the rewards of your. Um, of your cooking, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I try to bribe them with food to get them to come over and <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's a good way to bribe them. Yeah. Like that sukiyaki at the park. Well, that was for Father's Day, but it just makes it more fun. Yeah. You think yours is hot? No? I think it might be, yes. Okay. Let me check. Hello? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, weird. Uh oh. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I think okay. it's hot. Okay, okay cool. Can... 
Let's throw it in. Let's throw them in. You can throw them in um, the garlic first. Okay. And then just like swish it around for a little bit and then the onions. Garlic first. Yes. Oh, my not hot yet. So oh, I yeah, gotta increase the heat to make sure I have the right burner on because that would be. Oh. Dangerous. I do. I have the right one. Okay, it's not high enough. I'll put it. I'll put it a little bit higher. Okay. So mine is um, pretty high. So I'm gonna throw in my onions right now. Oh, my onions so that my garlic doesn't burn. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Ooh, it already smells good. So yours isn't hot. <laughs> it's not hot at all. <laughs> it's just vibing in the pan. It's all right. It'll get hot. It's like not bad though, because then that way you can have the garlic juices come out while it's sitting in the oil and the oil heats up. So That's either way true. it works. Um, I'm also not very used to cooking with this pot. It's thicker, so it probably takes longer to heat up. That's true. The thing too with a um, Dutch oven like that, is if it's cast iron, it has heat evenly distributed throughout. Yes, that's what I've heard, right? So I'm excited for that. Excited to cook bread, I guess. Excited to cook bread in it? Oh, it's getting hot, it's sizzling. Perfect. So when do you know to add the, oh, you've already added the onions. Okay, so yeah. sorry, when do you need to add, add onions? Yeah. Hey, April, Kirthi, good to see you. Thanks for always joining the streams. Uh, can you ask her what her favorite food is? Uh, Janelle, what is your favorite food? Hmm. Favorite food. It's so hard. There's so many. I could tell them like skinny gang for Filipino food because it's just comfort food and it's. Is it okay? Can I just say Filipino food? I feel like that's the easy. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Do Filipino it. food, because that's what I. I was born in the Philippines, by the way. So I was born in the Philippines. That was mostly what I ate and Chinese food. And I came here and I'm in LA, Orange County. So I'm able to like have all sorts of cultural foods. So I always have to default to Asian food though, like Filipino, Chinese, like those are my comfort foods, but I love exploring all sorts of foods. And I'm so jealous. Being out there <laughs> in LA, it's like, it's a melting pot, but also just like so many different types of food. There is like, Everything, like almost everything I could find here. Like I just went to a Yemeni restaurant yesterday. A what restaurant? Yemen, the country, oh, wow. Yemeni. Yeah, it's really good. Yum. Yeah, I hopefully am going to hit up a bunch of restaurants out there. You're gonna have to take me to like your favorite ones. Yeah, I have to like make a list. There's so many good, but even, there's so much like LA, Orange County, there's so many restaurants. Like, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Okay, so Jenny is asking, what inspired both of you guys to be food content creators? So I'll let you go first to answer that. Okay. Um, it's funny because I used to not watch YouTube at all. And then I found Emmy Made. So, you know, she, like, shares, like, snacks and all this stuff. And then I saw that and I was like, I want to share Filipino snacks. Like, I'm just so passionate about sharing Filipino, my Filipino food, culture. And I felt like not a lot of people were doing that. Now I feel like there's a lot. Um, but it's really just to share with people because a lot of people are unfamiliar with Filipino food and mainstream media, I guess, the mainstream American media. So that was what inspired me. What about you, Lisa? Um, for me, uh, I've always been a foodie growing up, just eating you know Vietnamese food that my parents cooked and as well watching. I used to watch the, food, the travel channel, the food channel like, all the time, just watching them. And, and you know, getting on YouTube and watching Mark Weens and yeah. Strictly Dumpling, and it kind of just fell into it. I was doing social media first for restaurants, and I decided mm -hmm. I wanted to do food videos and did restaurants, and here I am. And then she's dominating the world. <laughs> <laughs> the best no. part about it, I have to admit, so. Everyone talks about the amazing food that you get to eat, but it's really the best part about the connections you get to make. I've been able to meet some amazing, amazing people through my travels, through 
just visiting people who immigrated to the U.S. to share their good food here with people here, and their stories are amazing. And the fact that they're able to share that with me and I I'm able to share it with the world is just, I'm very, I'm very, very fortunate. That's amazing. I love that you, you share that too, because like, I think a lot of people, especially immigrants, I mean, as an immigrant too, like I know a lot of immigrants as well coming here and just like building from the ground up. Like you move countries, it's not like just moving a city, like you're moving to a completely different country. There's certain things you have to do, like passports, the visas, passports, naturalization, like all this stuff you have to go through. Um, so it's a really big deal when they're able to like set up a restaurant or set up a business or just like set up a life here, like have a family. I just think it's so amazing. I totally agree. Right. Are your onions translucent? Uh, they're uh, almost there. Yeah. They're getting there. Almost. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That was well, a good question, Jenny. Thanks for asking that. Yeah, that was great. Hope this will taste well. Me too. So <laughs> far, we're on the right path. Onions yes. and garlic. What could go wrong? Everything's good. <sighs> okay. You are older. I am. I'm 72 years old, so I am the older yeah. one. Yep. And I'm five years old. So that's, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I did get, um, I was getting my nails done last week mm -hmm. and they thought I was 24. I was like, hey, I'll take it. And they're like, why aren't you married? Like the, they're, they just, they have no filter. And they're like, yes. why aren't you married with kids yet? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't. Every I time, can't. that's, sometimes that's why I'm like, I can't go to nail salon because I'm going to get, I'm going to get like interrogated. <laughs> okay, so okay, transition, so what's after that? Okay, so now we're just going to dump in the grand meat that you have. And then we're going to okay it. Yeah. And then what, what do you have? Because I have two pounds of ground beef, so I... Did not yep. get what you had. I have ground beef too. Oh, I thought you got ground pork as well. No, I, I texted you and I was like, I'm not gonna get ground pork. Oh, okay. <laughs> get ground beef. So we're adding in the beef, guys. Yep. So if you want, you can make space in your pan like this in the middle. Make way. It's already <laughs> smelling so good. You're so fast. I was like, oh, she already has her ground beef in. <laughs> yes. I don't know why I'm trying to be all fancy. Okay, there you go. Cool. I think I wanted to make sure it didn't have that thing at the bottom. <laughs> Did you throw it in there? Huh? Is it in there? No, yeah. no. I was just oh, okay. making sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is not adobo, but I do want to learn how to make adobo. Oh yeah, adobo. Uh, oh, Janelle yeah. has. Don't you have adobo recipe on your page? I do. I okay. don't raise it like everyone else does. I do it kind of like differently, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it's I want to try good. making that, um, and then I want to try making your Filipino spaghetti recipe as well. Oh my gosh! Yes. And your palatau. Pal palatau. Yes, that's exactly it. Palatau. Yep. Palatau. There's so many like, okay, here's the thing my friends and I were talking about. By the way, just like turn up your heat a little bit because you put like a bunch of colder meat in here and it's not like uh, okay. sizzling or anything. So just turn heat it up, up a little yeah. bit. Yep. But my friend and I were talking, she's also Filipina and she's like, we're learning all these foods and we're like, how come our parents and grandparents made it look like it was so complicated to make? I guess there's kind of sure. shortcuts that we take and it's like oh you can actually make it in half the time yeah. i mean another part of why it's so complicated because they didn't have measurements yes <laughs> like they'd be like a little bit of this a little bit of that and you're like wait what yeah they never measure and that's why okay this recipe is from kawaling pinoy which is um it's she's a filipina food blogger and she has all these recipes. I mean, almost every single Filipino recipe you can think of up on her website. 
And I refer to her a lot because then I don't have to measure anything. Because <laughs> I actually don't measure, I eyeball stuff too, which is like every person's nightmare when they're looking for a recipe. Yeah, I checked yeah. out her YouTube channel. It's really good. And her yeah. website's really clean. She's a boss. And I trust her recipes. Like, I feel like she puts a lot of care in it. In it. Like your inspiration? Huh? Like your inspiration? My inspiration? Yeah, for your recipes? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I usually kind like... Of sorta. What was that? Kind of, sort of, your recipe? I mean, your inspiration? My inspiration, yeah. I just... I Google and I kind of see like a base of like, okay, these are the ingredients I use and then I make my own. Because I'm also here in the US. Well, they're also here in the US, I think. But um, sometimes they do it like very traditional and I like to do like shortcuts and make it simpler if I could. Okay. So my ground beef is cooked a little bit. How's yours? Um, mine's like getting, it's like half, kind of not there actually. That's okay because this is gonna stew, like it's all gonna cook. Like by the by the time this finishes, like everything's gonna cook. Okay. Everything's gonna get really cooked. Um, so at this point, what you can do is we can add some salt and pepper to taste. I'm like trying to explain how to how to do this for you. You can just start with like a pinch first of salt, a, like a tiny pinch. Like I'll show you. Kind of like that's not a pinch, is it? <laughs> that's not a pinch, but okay. <laughs> I just feel like this much. Okay, Maybe. I'll add that much. Yeah. Maybe, actually just, yeah, a little bit. That's cool. Is that good? Okay. And then um, freshly ground black pepper, if you have it. I just okay. kind of guesstimate, like, I just do maybe like a few cracks on top, just to add some flavor. Okay, you stir this a bit. Did you keep, did you lower your heat at all once the meat started cooking or no? I did it? because mine is so high. Like my burner is so high. Okay, mine. Yours, Wait, I feel I'm... like could say it like medium or something. Okay. I have to lower mine, mine is super strong. Janelle's looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, hers oh. does look amazing. Mine's got to use some work. No, yours is gonna look good. I think you just definitely have to like wait a little bit because yours is um, a different burner. My burner is like fl it's like flame. It's like flaming hot. I don't know. It just wants to burn everything I cook. It's funny because when I filmed my longer form videos, between cuts, I would have to take my pan off because the burner's so high. Do you have a two camera setup when you're filming or? I did, but I really love the shorts format because then I'm like, I'm just going to show you one frame. You got the point. Let's move on. Yeah. So what I do is I have my tripod and then I'll just put my phone in it. And then if I want to change the angle, I literally just like pop open one of the things and the phone drops and I've got another angle. It's so easy. Nice. But I think I've just gotten like much quicker at it as well. <laughs> Sorry, I am adding someone real quick. <laughs> Okay. Oh, just had to take care of that. You can still hear me, right? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, cool. Okay, my meat's starting to cook some more. I see what you meant. So in the recipe, it asks for water or beef broth, but yeah. I already see so much yeah. liquid coming out. So that's why you're saying we don't, we may not need to add it, right? Yeah, you may not need to. I rarely have to. And I like my um, picadillos like thicker. So, yeah. Okay. Look, yours is like browning. It is. It's pretty um, brown, yeah. I can't taste it yet, so we'll nope. see. Also, like, you see the sun is like hitting my ground beef and it looks really nice. <laughs> it does. It's the <laughs> golden hour. Let's go on yeah. your food. Yeah. It looks like corned beef. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Now what you can do is uh, you can throw in the potatoes. So let's throw that in now. 
So just kind of like make space in the middle, I guess. Gotcha. Like this. You said make space for it? Make way in the middle. <laughs> oh, okay. I think nice. it's like I a Aladdin. One. I can do that. Okay. The Aladdin song always plays in my head. The Prince Ali song. Every time <laughs> I make way for food in the middle of the pan. Okay. If you guys have any questions for... Oh, here's a question. Uh -huh. So... Gal Galactic Boy is asking, what is the best and worst part about being a food content creator? Hmm. You want, you want to answer that first or me? Uh, sure, I'll answer it. The best part, uh, I answered this a little bit earlier, is the people that I get to meet along the way uh, creating food content. The worst part are the negative comments and the hate that you get for creating food content. Um, obviously, the positive comments outweigh the good, the, the positive ones outweigh the negative ones, but sometimes you're just like, you see a negative one and you're like, well, shoot. You yeah. take it, it's hard not to take it personally, but yeah, that's the, that's the worst part about being any, I think any type of content creator, whether it be food content creator, any type of creator, you're putting yourself out there for criticism and you as a creator, just you're expected to take it. So that's mine. What's yours? Exactly everything that you said. Okay. The same exact thing. Same exact thing. Yep. It's, I feel like it's, if you ask other content creators, it's probably pretty similar. Yeah. How do you deal with negative comments? Me? Yeah. I cried at Lisa <laughs> and Julius and Phil. Oh my gosh. You got so much sensitive to me. I think I'm getting rid of Oh man. I mean, that's why we're there, isn't it? Yeah, it is this, really important to have a, it's important to have friends and a, like a base for you to talk to and commiserate with. Yeah. Exactly. <sighs> it's just it's been a lot easier knowing like this group like with Lisa, like it just makes you feel like there's days when I just won't create. I know I need to, but I can't because I'm just like so paralyzed by whatever mean comment I got. Okay, yeah. so now, now we could add the carrots and potatoes. I mean, peas and carrots. R right now? Yeah. Okay. We can just add it in here because we can just like let it all sit together because these peas and carrots are, they do need to be cooked as well, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm adding the whole bag. I'm sorry, how much did you say to add? Um, I think for this, you probably only need like half a cup. You add the whole the whole bag this is the whole this bag so just half okay. a cup you said okay i would say try yeah try it like kind of eyeballing it let's see this is about half a cup oh yeah there you go that's okay. good perfect am i supposed to be stirring the potatoes into the meat or no um you could but you could just yeah you could mix it all in Ugh, i got the bag the bag water in my face Adam wants to know your favorite Filipino food and why. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way. Wow. Um, sinigang. <laughs> I've been like some of the third time today. Yeah, you just <laughs> I love sinigang because it's sour. Like sinigang is the dish that I can eat breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's so good. It's my comfort food. But I yeah. don't make it as often as I could. Is it a long process to make? Um, I think it's just because I go for really quick things to make. Like I have these noodles, like ramen noodles, udon noodles in the freezer and they take a minute to boil. Yeah. And I just throw in thin slices of meat or like shrimp and then some kind of base like chicken stock or miso or something and then veggies. And that's what we eat pretty often because we just need to eat something quick editing videos, eat something quick. Yeah. I totally understand that. Um, and then actually we can add the raisins in as well. Do you have your raisins? 
I do. How much, how many raisins are we adding? I got the little oh. one because it reminded me of like being a kid eating out of oh, the yeah. raisin. Okay, those are really cute, but I have the Trader Joe's one. <laughs> oh, fancy. Okay. Yeah, it's organic Thompson seedless raisin. Ooh. Any raisin will do. So you're supposed to add about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons? Yes. I think one uh, of these is about two tablespoons. Yeah, that should work. By the way, for anyone watching, you do not have to put raisins in here. I know a lot of people freak out when you put raisins in a savory dish. This is optional, um, yes? It's optional, yes. Yeah. But the older I've gotten, the more I've appreciated the raisins in here. Like now I can eat raisins in savory dishes, no problem. Gotcha. But when I was younger and my uncle would make this, I would hide the raisins from him so that he could finish <laughs> cooking and then my dad'd be like, Where'd the raisins go? And he'd be like, I have no idea. And then like <laughs> I hit it and then like I got in trouble, so I Oh my had gosh. To stop hiding raisins after that. I love that. Yeah. But you know, it's you you do grow into it. Like it's nice to have that random sweetness in your dish. Agreed. Okay. So I think I made my pan too small, but I can do it. <laughs> so, you got this. I hate when that happens, and it happens to me a lot. Like I look at a pan and I'm like, "You're good," but then you find out it's not good. Yes, it's the worst. And I'm just like, good, but it's okay. Like I've I've done it before. I can do it again. Now we're what we're gonna do is I'm gonna see what yours is. Is it sizzling at all? Yeah, it's sizzling. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna turn mine down a bit because mine's sizzling a lot. Now we're yeah. gonna add like. Should I turn mine down now as well? Huh? No, no. Okay. Yours is fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, mine is like. Um, so now we're going to add in the tomato sauce and you can add in the crushed tomatoes. In the past, I just add all tomato sauce. So if you don't have the crushed tomatoes, you can just add in all tomato sauce if you'd like. That's totally fine. Lisa, you had diced tomatoes? I've got uh, tomato sauce and I've got crushed tomatoes. First, perfect. Okay. So Should I add a, eat, like half of each can? Yeah. Or the you whole can. thing? We can actually start with half of the tomato sauce first. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I panicked a little bit for, before the stream because I couldn't find my can opener. Oh. And I was like, um, <laughs> we're gonna have to postpone this because I can't find the can opener. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you when could is open the next it with a knife, it's dangerous. What's up? I said you could open it with a knife, but that's dangerous. That's. That's a viral video waiting to happen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> for sure. For sure, for sure. Right, Do so. I like lives? Um, if you're talking about like, yeah, I like YouTube lives. I like Twitch lives. Yeah, I enjoy them. How about you, Janelle? I like this. I like having somebody else. But when I'm by myself, I, it feels weird uh, to just kind of talk on my own. Um, I like having oh, somebody else. Yeah, I totally get that. Um, it, but also like cooking when you have something to do and to talk is pretty amazing as well. Yes. If yes. I had to look at a camera and just talk, I would be like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be the most yeah. awkward thing ever. Exactly. That's true. Okay. Okay. So we're so, at, you said half of the tomato Yeah, let's, let's try half and let's see what that looks like. Oof. Let's go. Whoa. I think I had a little bit more than half, but we'll That's go okay. it. It's not the end of the world ever with tomato <laughs> sauce. <sighs> Try to get your roommate to eat a Carolina Reaper. I don't think she ever would. Janelle, would you ever eat a Carolina Reaper? Um, uh, uh, so, I don't know. <laughs> I'm too scared to say yes. Or hey, Janelle is trying to build her spice tolerance. So if you guys need to watch yeah. someone else building their spice tolerance, go subscribe to her channel. Yeah, I only did one, and that the Shin Ramen, it was, it messed me up. So I was just like, mm. to answer your question, at this moment, I have no, I can't think of even touching one, a Carolina Reaper. But maybe eventually, I don't know. I'm too I scared. I watched your video. It. I can't wait to see you do it. I saw your video, Lisa, and I was like, uh, no, <laughs> too scared. Yeah. Okay, let me see what yours looks like. What do you think? 
Okay, we can actually, let's try half the can of the diced tomatoes. But I feel like we could add a little bit more tomato sauce on yours. Okay. So for anyone watching, if you just want to make this with tomato sauce, you totally can. The crushed tomatoes is a nice addition. I'm adding half of the cake. Oh, I always, I always what? say half, but it goes like three, four, like a All lot. of it? That's per That's fine because I think you have just a little bit more um, ground beef than I do. Okay. I would like to use it all just because like I want to use it all, but we'll see yeah. after this. Ooh, yeah, mix yours up. I'm gonna see what it looks this like. This smells so good. I am so excited. Yes. We still have the fish sauce to add. Yes. Which, okay, for everybody watching, fish sauce is like my secret weapon in the kitchen. Like if I can't make a stew or something taste good, like even, even spaghetti sauce, I know people freak out about that, but it makes it taste so much better. Okay, I want to see what yours. Okay, yours is good. We can keep it like that. It's like very tomatoey. I can see it. From okay, here. cool. Okay, cool. now we could start with. I think we could just do a tablespoon of fish sauce. And this, I, I usually do measure like a tablespoon because I don't want to get too carried away. I can get carried away with fish sauce. I love fish sauce. Yes, all my hearts and being. Yes. Whoa, chill. This got crazy. It's going on what low. Was it? This is bubbling like crazy. Oh, okay. You can probably turn it down just a little bit if it's too intense. Yeah, I just put it on low. Okay, cool. So, do you have what kind of fish sauce do you use? I use three crabs. The, the three crabs brand. Nice. We just ran out of that one. one. Um, I have several, but this is the one that I brought, the Red Boat, the Red Boat one. Oh, okay. I've tried that one before. Yeah. They all have their different flavors and intensities. Yeah. Okay, one tablespoon of this? Yeah, I'll say one tablespoon. I think that one is a bit saltier than this one, but start with one tablespoon. What kills me is when people go to a Filipino restaurant, they think that the fish sauce is soy sauce and they pour it all over their dish. Oh no. And it's game over. Like, it is. You can't eat it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised my roommate is able to eat fish sauce because whenever we do spring rolls, I'll make a fish sauce. Like, I, I won't put chili peppers in hers. I'll just mm. put garlic and um, some other stuff in it. But I'm surprised she's able to handle the fishiness of it. Oh, that's awesome. And some people like, I don't know, some people get really bothered by it. Other people are like, yeah, I'm down. So she seems like she's down. I mean, if she'll eat those spicy cheese balls with you, she's definitely down. <laughs> Try some that. <laughs> okay, I'm actually looking at yours and I was like, you might, you could probably add a little bit. Can you taste a little bit yeah. of it? Is your ground beef like, does it look like it's cooked? I can definitely taste it. Okay, um, guys, if you have any questions for Janelle, like now is the time to ask before we dig in and say bye. Yes. I'm so excited to try this. Yeah, so we still have to cook down the fish sauce a little bit because we just added it in, but let me know how it's how the saltiness is. Drew Sears, lo Drew Sears, love your videos. Thank you so much. Lots of Filipino Filipino people in the chat. I know the I language love. of the Philippines is how do you say tag Tagalog? That's like one of the most common ones. One of the more common ones is Tagalog, but there's a bunch Tagalog? of dialects. Yeah, there's like hundreds of dialects in the Philippines. But the most commonly used one is, I believe, Tagalog. I don't want to say like most commonly used ones because there's other bigger ones like Ilocano. Um, Bisayan. But the I had like, I, no idea. I yeah. didn't realize there were so many. Yep, hundreds. Like, there's a ton. That's crazy. Okay. Um, I think it needs a little bit more fish sauce. Okay. But, like, I the flavor yeah. was pretty good. Perfect. I think you could add, like, one tablespoon. Because yours is a pretty big pot. Yeah, I put a lot of meat in mine. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so now what we can do is, is yours? 
I'm trying to see if this is a little bit. It needs more tomato sauce. Um, maybe. I don't know. You're the expert. I'm trying to see if it's like. No, I think. Yeah, add a little bit. <laughs> add a little bit. Okay, I'll just add the rest. Yeah. Of the yeah. tomato sauce. Perfect. There's not perfect. That much left. Perfect. Great. What is your dialect, Janelle? I'm oh. Ilocano. Yeah. Oh, you're Ilocano. So my boyfriend's family's from Hawaii, and there's a huge Ilocano population there. So I like going there because the food there is. I don't get a lot of Ilocano food here. It's mostly like Tagalog foods, and the Tagalog foods are the ones that people normally see, like the adobo and lumpia and pancit and like all this stuff. But there's a lot of other Filipino foods. Like I would, my dream is to go to the Philippines and like explore all the different regions and share the um, traditions and like the foods that they make there. So good. There's so much food in the Philippines. Like so many different ways to make it. Anyway. Let's do it. Let's plan a Philippine strike. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Okay, how's that? I'm going to test it out. We'll see. Hot. Delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're gonna have to um, let it simmer for a little bit, unless your potatoes are already cooked. I know my potatoes, just looking at it, I know they're not cooked. So you, you might wanna pause it. You said mine aren't cooked? Mine aren't, for sure. Oh, so I'm gonna potatoes. cover it. Okay. Um, try yours. I poke it with a fork, but I look at mine and I'm like, that's definitely not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mine's not cooked. Okay, so you could put a lid on. Does it look like it has a little bit of soup in the middle? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, great, perfect. Good? Yeah, so then okay. just like put a lid on it and then we're gonna sit and let it simmer. Okay, okay. Yours has a good saltiness to it, right? What's up? Yours has good saltiness to it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're saying if it doesn't though, you'd add more salt, more pepper? I'd add more salt, it? yeah. Because you already added like two tablespoons of fish sauce. You could add a little bit more fish sauce, but Hmm. I would probably add more salt to mine. No, I'm gonna add more fish sauce to mine. So George K is asking you if you have had, have you ever had any Indian food or do you shy away due to the spicy dishes in general? Things like biryani, korma, or chicken tikka, for example. Okay, um, I, love, I love spicy food. I wish I could eat it more, but the most, the most stomach trouble I had was eating South Indian food. I had a biryani and I had, I forgot what it was called, but it's an onion. It's like an onion. And then there was like a pepper in there and garlic bread. Yeah. And I thought it was safe because it was bread. But like, that was the first time I had to take Tums in like over a decade. <laughs> Wait, Indian food in over a decade? No, no. The first time I had to take Tums in over a decade. Oh, I see. My dad eats Tums like all the time. He what? My dad eats Tums like all the, like every day. Oh, I feel like that would be good. Like just for your well-being, <laughs> peace of mind. Jaden, come here. My cat, come here. Jayden. Come. I was wondering what <laughs> the emoji was in your Twitch stream. <laughs> Yeah, the, that cat is a little feminine. Uh, Jaden's a male. Come here. Okay. Come. Such a cutie. He is a cutie. But he's did not being a loser. Did you make the emojis in your Twitch stream? Um, I ha I commissioned them. I have someone else make it because I cannot draw worth anything. Okay, it's really cute. My art skills are none. No. <laughs> Was that Jaden? Yeah, can you hear him? Jaden, come here. Yeah. Maybe you guys will see him over here. Jaden, come. Come. You can see his tail. Yeah, I see. Hi, Jaden. Don't, don't be like that. 
not in chat. Whatever. You can still see me, right? You can still see me moving and stuff? What did you say? You can still see me moving? Yeah. Like, my face? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm just waiting for the potatoes to soften up and then we're ready to eat it. <laughs> Perfect. Well, guys, um, make sure, please, right now, go subscribe to Janelle's YouTube channel. Amazing food content. Um, and, yeah. Let me change something real quick. You guys have any questions? Let's see. Let's see. What culture do you find the most interesting because of their food? Me or you? You. Oh man. There's so many ways to like go about this. I think each one is very interesting, but if you had to, okay, for example, if there was one that I really wanted to get into and learn how to make, it would be like Middle Eastern cooking. Oh yes. Yeah. Tons of spices. Even like Indian actually, like Tons of spices are involved. I have no idea where to start. Um, and there's so many, like, I think it's just because I don't, I don't have that much exposure to it and I don't know much about it. But every time, like, I don't know, some kind of like cooking website shows up and it shows me some kind of like dish. Like there's one in, a, I forgot what it was called, in a tagine, I think. It's a, lamb tagin it's like in a certain like cooking vessel kind of uh -huh. like this and i was like dude that looks really good i've never had it before i don't know where to get it i don't know how to cook it so yeah nice <laughs> what about you i've always been fascinated with um with uh thai cuisine i think it's very fascinating i i've really that's if i could pick any country to visit right now it'd be thailand mm -hmm. Ooh, do a cooking class? Maybe. My um, friends, whenever they go to Thailand, they always take a cooking class. I need to get into that. There's also a martial arts that they do. I forgot the name of it. But it's I kind of want to like, learn, I want to go to some of their classes to work out while I'm there because mm -hmm. I'm probably going to be eating a lot of food. Might as well learn some of their martial arts. What is the name of the martial arts? Is it like is a Thai? It Thai? Possibly, yeah. The kicking, I think, wait, I don't know if that's, I think that is the kicking one. I watched a video of a guy kicking down a palm tree with his shin. Uh, I, I don't think know that's how they funny. do it. They build the, their, they build their leg tolerance, basically. Yeah. Apparently they rub, okay, actually, I don't know. I don't know if that's my tie. I think it is. But they rub like steel bats on their shins. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's your potatoes? I want to check real quick, but I think it's being very close to being done. Nice. This was so easy to make. Right? Like I said, if we weren't live, you just like go pat, 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 throwing yeah. stuff in. <laughs> let's get in the ring. All right, let's do it, Ole. Ole Gunner. Ooh. When Place did you your bed. <laughs> Janelle, when did you start cooking? Uh, college. Because... I was afraid of getting the freshman 15. Oh, yeah. Good call. Yeah, but I didn't know how to cook. Like, I would stress out and stuff. Um, my sister actually her handles the booty baker. <laughs> She's a fitness trainer. <laughs> <laughs> and she uh, taught me how to cook. Like, she taught me that you can add, like, I would freak out when not all the chicken pieces would be thrown in the pot. She's like, it's okay, you can do it like one by one. But I was like, it's going to cook unevenly. Like, it's, this doesn't make sense. And I would just freak out over the smallest things. And now, like, I cook more than she does. Nice. Did you start on YouTube first? So which platform did you start on first? Uh, yes. It was YouTube. And I was doing, that. yeah, the long-form YouTube content now it's like so different now it's just shorts all the way tiktok youtube shorts instagram are yep. you on facebook i am trying to, to upload my videos into facebook but i'm not like focused on facebook 
This was all because of Lisa, by the way, everybody watching. <laughs> she gave me the courage to like tell stories. Um, she gave me a lot of like tips to help me with that. And like my channel is growing and it's been amazing that now I get to share these things that I was too scared to share before. And I was scared to take the leap with shorts, but she was like, do it. So I was like, okay. And I was scared, but it's been really good. Like, I'm glad that I'm be I'm able to like reach these new people who appreciate Filipino food culture and just all the little stories that I tell in between. What you, about you? you? You had it in you already. Like huh? you, just, you already had it like in you, all these stories, you were already bursting to tell it all. Like yeah. I, it, it was inevitable inevitable that you're going to do it. Maybe. I don't know. I was like holding myself back a lot by telling all these things like, oh nobody cares. No one wants to listen. Like I want to hear a story about me freezing my butt off when I immigrated here. Like nobody, that's dumb. <laughs> like all a lot of people do. It's it's amazing yeah. and the people you can connect with and just relate. Like that that story is probably relatable for so many people. And yes. being able to hear it through someone else's voice is probably really comforting to them. I wouldn't have known that though had I not tried it. But it was it was really scary to go for that. So thank you, Lisa. You were the one that made me like really like just go for it. I was just like, it's fine. Okay, I'll just do. I'll just do this, <laughs> and it worked out well. <laughs> okay, is your are your potatoes? Are they getting soft? They are. I don't think they're like good enough yet, but okay. I think I, I think I think some are good and some are not because I chopped them unevenly, basically. Uh, me too. But, <laughs> but <laughs> I do not have any rice. But this is typically served with rice, correct? Yes, it's. I, I have my rice cooker like. Over there on that bench. <laughs> hot, hot. Whoa. Okay, my potatoes, like, maybe another minute and they're done. Perfect. I need a little bit more salt. Yeah, feel free to, like, that's why they always say salt and pepper to taste, because it depends on the salt you're using, and it depends the saltiness of your fish sauce. Did you make rice? Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. At least one of us did it correctly. Okay, right. I need a thumbnail. Oh, my potatoes are... Okay, yeah, I do need maybe like a couple more minutes. Is this your dinner, Lisa? Yes. Okay, it better be good. Oh my god. It is good. So far, it's delicious. Oh. I'm so excited to eat this. Have I eaten oh, the Taj Mahal at 75th and Warnall in case? I have not. I'm actually going to be in Kansas City next week, and I'm going to be hitting up. I will be hitting up uh, Fanny's West African cuisine. I'm going back to Waldo Thai. There's a Brazilian restaurant as well that sells snacks that I'll be hitting up too. So. I'm excited to get back to shooting restaurant videos. As much as I love cooking at home, I will, I, I, which I still will be doing, I'm gonna go back to highlighting some family owned restaurants, which I am so stoked, so excited. That's really awesome. And I love that you're highlighting family owned restaurants too. And the stories that you tell are really cool. Thank you. It's been crazy, uh, but in a good way. I know I keep saying this, but the people I have met, the stories I have heard, I am just so thankful that they were that trusting, like to share it with me yeah. and trust me to be able to share that message with the world or the internet, social media. Yeah. It's like um, humans of New York, but humans of Wichita. What's up? It's like, it's like humans of New York. Oh, yeah. But humans of Wichita. Yeah. Are you Filipino? I'm not. Janelle, are you Filipino? I think so. I am. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm full Filipina, yes. Hmm. Hot. I kept doing that. My potatoes <laughs> are good. Yeah? They're good, yes. Okay, let me check mine. Mine's like bubbling furiously. Julius is in the chat. Because, yeah, I can't wait to see the local mom and pop restaurants. 
So guys, Julius is another um, amazing food content creator. We're meeting up with him as well um, at the beginning of August. August I keep and August and October. Yes. So definitely follow Julius on subscribe to his channel. We're trying to get him to a thousand. I'm doing actually I'm doing a live with Julius in two oh. weeks from today. What are you making again? Um, I think we're we're making fried rice, right, Juli Julius? What day are we doing it? Yeah, July thirteenth. We're oh. making fried rice. I'm gonna be hopping on that one. You better. I should. He I'll be there. With us. But yeah, follow Julius. He's on YouTube, Instagram, maybe Twitch, right? Didn't you say you might be streaming on Twitch? And Too Fast, Too Furious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is in that meme. I wish I could like share that meme. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Just tell people to look up, like, when you're in your iPhone or if you're looking for a GIF or GIF, whatever you want to say, like, on Facebook, look up Ludacris. <laughs> and when Ludacris was going like this and Too Fast, Too Furious, Julius is on his left. The person standing right next to him. Yeah. <laughs> I can't okay. get over that. It's, like, my favorite. Yeah, we know a famous person. Yeah. <laughs> Your potatoes are good. Man, my potatoes are still like, bleh. It's not like super tough. Okay, some of them are ready, but are all of yours ready? I think so. Okay, I actually, know. no, these are good. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll just press them. I mean, I don't mind. I'm just, keep, oh. I'll, pick, I'll pick the big potatoes here to try. You could poke it with a fork too, so that you don't- It's cool, I'd rather taste mouth. it, honestly. <laughs> okay. Just so much food. Sliced cucumbers with lemon salt tahini and valentine. Uh, that sounds amazing. I heard that was really good. Kaylin, you hate these types of videos? Well, I mean, you don't have to watch. You can just go <laughs> to the next video. Yep. Whoa. My potatoes are pretty good. Okay, same these. These are actually, they're okay now. Yeah, so I usually poke it. I don't know if you guys have been Thing, but I just kind of poke it, and if the pork goes through easily, did I say pork? If the pork goes through <laughs> easily, <laughs> you're good. Okay, so you can turn yours off now. Is if it's ready, your potatoes. I think so. I'll just turn it off. But I, okay. I mean, I could probably use some more cooking. Is, are your potatoes ready? Yes, my potatoes are done. Okay. Ooh. There it is. This is amazing. The fact that this was like so easy to make. Yeah, it is, right? You literally just throw everything in together. It doesn't have to be in the same order either. I mess up so often and it still turns out really good. Wow. So this is picadillo. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab some rice. Okay. My rice cooker is over here. <laughs> the fact that you have your rice cooker outside is pretty amazing. Yeah, so I was like, so I don't forget. I don't have rice, guys. Sorry. So you're just gonna be eating me. So you're gonna be watching me eat this like a stew. Also, with like with, like with any stew, this is gonna taste even better the next day. Because the flavors have kind of penetrated it better. Yes, they all like kind of blend together, and it's good. It's it's so much better tomorrow. So taste them. You have so many. Guys, look at this beauty. Woo! Can you see mine? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. So here, you just serve it with a bed of rice. Or, you know, if you are trying to not fill up on rice, you can just eat it on its own. What if I, what if tomorrow for leftovers, I made noodles and then put this over the top? But do you think that would be good? No, yeah, no, yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cheers, well, or whatever you say. What do people say? Cheers. Oh, That's how we say in Tagalog. I'm sorry, say that again? Pa-in-na. Pa-in-na. 
Ya, kain na. Kain na. Kain na. Kain na. Hai. Kain na. This hit the spot. This is amazing. It's so simple, right? It is. And the fact we made a whole pot of it, which is really dangerous because after this, I can see myself just spooning a bunch more. Mm -hmm. Just eating the whole thing in private where you guys can't see me. This is the magic of tomato sauce and fish sauce. Together, it's like. Is it good? I hope I hope that yours is as good as mine. I hope so too, but I mean it's delicious. So I'm Did you get a better than raisin? <laughs> oh, good question. Let me find a raisin. Here we go. Okay, I found two raisins. Ready. Let's go. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Hmm. I do like that sweetness in it. Right? Offsets the savoriness. I like it. It's not too sweet either. Now, what you could also do is if you know how to make empanada dough, you put this in the middle. Oh, you use this as the filling as the empanada? Uh, how, what's, the, what's the outside of the empanada made with? Like what type of dough? Um, just, you usually just use like all purpose flour, but you have to make sure you use really cold butter. People use shortening, but butter tastes better. And uh, it's this whole baking thing. So like I said, when you're ready to bake, let me know. You can make a bunch of baked goods, including empanadas, or you could fry it too. I will definitely let you know. I need to buy the stand mixer. When you said mm -hmm. stand mixer, I'm like, what in the world is a stand mixer? You sent me the picture, I'm like, duh. That's what a stand mixer is. I, I totally knew that. I mean, I didn't. Okay. But... Cool, because when you said, what's a stand mixer, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know how to cook. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. So, Janelle, thank you so much for showing me how to make this. This is so simple, yet so delicious. Um, I will definitely be making this again because it was so easy. But, guys, please go subscribe to Janelle's, J Janelle's channel. We will be doing a bunch of collabs when I visit LA, as well as she's building her spice tolerance. So, I'm sure you guys would love to watch that. Um, she's an amazing person, amazing friend. And, yeah, go check her out. And thanks for joining the stream. Janelle, is there anything you'd like to say? Do you have any do you have anything coming up? Um Do I have anything coming up? No, the spice videos, but those are all like influenced by Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. And I just I have to be able to hang when she comes over. <laughs> I'm like a little nervous. Um We don't have any yeah. spicy food. <laughs> but we don't have to. We don't have to, but I do want to. Like I end up going to these places, their food is spicy, I can't handle it, and I just have a bad time, but everything tastes so good. So that's also why I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we don't have to do yeah. spicy for everything. But I would yeah. love for you to take me to some of your favorite places. I would love Heck to try yeah. that. I have to start making the list. There's so much. Yeah. All right, cool. bye every oh, Sorry, was there anything that you wanted to say? I wanted to say that Lisa's freaking amazing, and she is just like, how we text and how we talk separately from like her videos she's like the same exact person maybe even nicer <laughs> thank you thank you for that <laughs> all right go follow go follow janelle on all the social media platforms i will see you guys next thursday i'll be doing cooking stream and julius i will be doing a stream with him in two weeks so bye guys have a great day